little side action, and we're just about set to kick off. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Toss left taken down behind the line. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Boise State's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Caught out in the open. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. it and immediately hammer. Nowhere to go on the delay. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. Third down and they need to get it to the 23. Once it all going long. Got it. Touchdown, Boise State. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 52-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's to the 40, and down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. That's good for the game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Just 
throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Fakes to the back. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. The Broncos had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Boise State is up a score. the stop at about the 39 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. From the 18-yard line, first down. And a quick throw, and he's tackled around the 8-yard line. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Boise State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 27.
looks lengthy. Tackle at about the 41. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Catches it, and that's all. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 42. We played one quarter. The Broncos lead 14 0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. And he hits him hard at the 19. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Very good tackle in space. That brings in second and one. They come out in a five-wide set. That's a great tackle. The 20-yard line. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. And this is the 10th play of the drive. converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and the result, seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Boise State is up seven. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Handoff inside, and he's quickly brought down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Crystal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First and ten. Ball on their own 25.
takes it to the 34. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Up the middle for a nice game. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. And they got him for a loss. From their own 36-yard line, second down. spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. Answer an open field tackle. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Broncos right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half, you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack them. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on them. What they've done so far hasn't worked. So it's first and ten after the big run. Boise State is up by a touchdown. Makes it to the 31. this quarterback a lot of credit he recognized the man coverage and guys I'm going to tell you something he probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped well done steps out of bounds right around the 10 yard line that makes it second and eight it's second and eight ball on the 10 yard line the Huskies running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. about the six-yard line. This should be an easy field goal. Boise State is hoping to make this a two-score game. up and he got it and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff from his own goal line he's to the 20 tackle made at the 23 their last drive resulted in a punt so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here the 
31. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick strike to the receiver. They bring him down around the 43-yard line. Well, if this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes, sure, they may get to the quarterback once in a while, but they also are giving up some big plays like that one right there. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He goes downtown. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Played a half. The Broncos lead 17 7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally... That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big plays. Play. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you are doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. We're about set to start things up again. Yard line. From their own 22 yard line, it's second down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He's to the 40 and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second. 
second and two. And they make the stop around the 48 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Off, up the middle. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. Gets out to about the 38 yard line. That's a game of two on the middle. That makes it fourth and inches. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Little too much leg into that front. They'll bring it out to the 20. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. From their own 35 yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 36. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Somebody jumped early down there. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. it out and he holds it in spectacular play and now it's first and goal so after the big pass play we have a first and goal it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the six-yard line. A couple of yards at most on that pass. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Brought down at the six. Let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Throws and it's incomplete. And that could have been six. Yep, he just didn't have enough time to deliver an accurate pass there. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Here's a run. Good outside run there. fake is a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. On the ground, inside. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The Broncos with a 13-point lead. into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. in the pocket. He's looking for six. And he came down with it. What a catch. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Brad, I would anticipate the defense putting 11 defenders up close to the line of scrimmage, doing everything that they can to stop the running game and try to strip that ball away from the running back. An aggressive offense might try to take advantage of that with a play action, fake that run up the middle, and then maybe try to find a tight end, maybe downfield or a wide receiver. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24, Boise State with a six-point lead. The halfback with a carry. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Sure, when it was thrown. Let's find out. 
receiving team. team. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First and ten. Ball on the 35. corners down there picking up loose balls they're more worried about interceptions both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game so a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble So the call on the field will be reversed. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. set oh they really needed that one and he dropped it from the 35 yard line second down less than three minutes in the game he's scrambling and they got him you know, Brad, I think the offensive linemen were so concerned about those blitzers that they forgot to account for maybe the most dangerous man, and that's the defensive end. And that defensive end just lowered the boom on the quarterback. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. Taken down right around the 28 yard line. Five wide. Across the middle, tight end's got it. They'll bring him down around the one yard line. Incomplete pass. Second down and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Caught for the touchdown. And we are all tied up. He's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 21-20. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. He's got the corner the 30. He's pushed out of bounds around the 37-yard line. 
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. So the call on the field stands. Just over two minutes in the game. Pass right, running back's got it. Steps out of bounds at the 47. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Six yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Gains his way to the 43 yard line. From the 43 yard line. First down. Caught open field. He steps out at about the 41. Obvious passing down here as they're faced with third and long. Going deep, lays it up there. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Looking for Pater. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Unbelievable emotion after that score because now they've got the lead and they know that they can win this game in regulation. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Caught it, and the conversion is good. A seven-play, 61-yard drive, and they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown. Drive. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Rolls left, the running back's got it, and they make the stop around the 31-yard line. The Huskies call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. Washington's out of timeouts. Big, big stop on 
fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. It's final, a close one to the very end. 28-21, Bronco. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.